Uh, yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, we want to look at the positives and say it, it says a tremendous amount about our team now that, that um, you know, even go back to the D.C. game, we're down a goal and you know, get a goal late to, to manage a fantastic result being down a man for 60 minutes. Uh, then to be down multiple times in the same game against the Red Bulls and come back to get three points uh, was massive. But then to top it off with being down two goals and coming back to win the game, Again, it says a lot about the character of the, of the team um, and what we have to offer. And also, I think, a little bit about our fitness levels, um, that we can be that dangerous at the end of a match. From the negative side of it, um, you, you'd hope that you wouldn't be chasing every single game, um, but we have been. And I think that's, that's causing us some problems. You know, we, we want to be a team that's more in control of the match. That's always going to be difficult to do if you're always coming from behind. Um, you know, I think a couple things. I think um, we focus really, really try to be really focused on our fitness levels. I think the strength and condition staff that we have here has done just a fantastic job. Because uh, in both the last two matches, I would say we were the fresher and fitter team, uh, which is critically important, as we know, in, in, in this environment that we play in. Um, but then also, I think just the, just the sheer character uh, and quality uh, of the team. We have quality players, we have, we have guys that can, can make special plays happen at the end of the games. And we have a group that, that continues to believe and fight and do anything they possibly can to, to get results. Yeah, really, really important. It's always critically important, um, the guys that come into matches. Whether you're winning a game or losing a game, the job that those players do is, is so, so important. Uh, and those two guys, as well as RJ Allen, I think gave us a real, real positive spark at the end of that game, uh, and they're going to be needed. Um, they're going to be needed in starting roles, they're going to be needed in substitute roles. Guys that started the game are going to be in substitute roles in the future, and I think it's a lesson for, uh, for everyone to learn that the contribution you can make off the bench is, it can be massively critical. Yeah, um, very, very dangerous team. Um, a team that, if you look at the last two matches, they've played really positively uh, and should have probably gotten no doubt about it, should have gotten better results in those two matches. They were dominant in both those games, created a ton of goal scoring chances, uh, and they're a very dangerous team that's going to be out looking for a fight because they dropped the result at home last week, so um, they're going to be looking to, to claw that back, so we need to be very, very prepared for this. In my day, it was Kansas City, and for some reason I seem to have a lot of success against them, and I have no idea why. I wouldn't say that it was 100% of the time, it yeah. just, you know, Sometimes it felt like it, um, but you know, David's a, a very gifted player with some real athletic capability um, with his speed. So those guys are always going to be dangerous in MLS, and I think they're dangerous against every opponent, not just against us. Uh, good, good, but still lots of improvement um, to be made from from my point of view on the defensive side of things. It's not necessarily the defending in our final third. Uh, for me, it's more the defending happening in the midfield third. Um, and what we're doing in those areas to, to again, control the match better um, so that we're not dealing with so many transitions. End-to-end -end play is the stuff that coaches aren't big fans of and, and the fans are. <laughs> um, but I think we need to, we need to get control, and that, that starts with um, the back four and the two center backs. So improvement to be made, but still positive. Mostly, mostly. Um, again, I don't think it was a, a perfect night, but it's the first time that we started in that, in that uh, shape. And so you know that you're going to need improvement. Um, but you have to be happy with the number of chances that we created. And, and I think, honestly, I think either shape we've created a tremendous amount of both fun chances in every single game. So from that point of view, I'm not concerned. Uh, for me, it's about that control factor. And how do we gain more control of games? Yeah. It's good training fully. Um, we really kind of entered the second half of last week, started training completely fully. Trained fully today. Of course, we had a shortened session by about 15 minutes, so was hopeful to get all that work in for him. Was was unable to do it, um, but I do think, yeah, now going forward, he's in consideration. Whether that be from you know a role coming off the bench or starting is to be determined. But but I think he's he's there or thereabouts. Could be could be really critical. Um, Starting off in the diamond, I think he was really the missing piece from my point of view. Um, to play a very young player in Cam Lindley, I think he did a fantastic job of what he could. Um, but it's a big, big ask, uh, that role to play the number six alone. Um, and then Christian played one game there, and I thought he did a pretty decent job too. All the, you know, what probably wasn't quite, quite as clean on the ball as I would like that position to be. And Yuri represents a total package for us in that position. So 
uh, could provide us a, another different looking roster. Um, I do, I, I do absolutely. Um, watching all the matches, um, I, I don't feel as if you know, some of the years prior, I, I felt we were just completely outmatched, um, completely outgunned um, with quality of players and the number of quality of players. Uh, and watching it this year, I feel differently. Um, but I think it's early. <laughs> I think I don't want to be tooting our horns too early. Uh, it's the first year that I think we could, that everybody could realistically, with a straight face, say that. And so you need to do that over multiple years, um, and we also need to, to win some games tonight. So.